Kevin, principally we're here for DMG Mori, you're, you're a big user of DMG Mori, but could you give me a bit of a background of high force engineering? Yeah, High Force uh, was a, is a brand of hydraulic tools that was uh, launched in the late 1980s. Um, we spent many years um, subcontracting our manufacturing. So in the early days, we were designing the products. Um, the machining was done outside. We brought the components in, did the assembly uh, and testing and finishing in-house, and then started to supply it to various industries around the world. And, and I'm, I'm pretty uh, impressed that you're a British manufacturer. You're keeping British, but how many products in the portfolio? Uh, at the moment, we have over 2,000 products in our catalogue. Um, and allied to that, we do a lot of specials. So, and that's a big growing part of our business, which is why we, we decide to bring manufacturing in-house. And do you think that that's actually saved you money? It saved us a significant amount of money, but more importantly, it's given us far better control of our quality, our delivery times, and our pricing. Now, today, um, you're a big user of uh, DMG Moray. Obviously, you started a, a, a long time with them, but how many machines have you got downstairs? Um, I'm not sure exactly. Probably Chris, our operations director, can answer that, but I think it's close to 20. Um, and we, yeah, we, we bought our first machine in, in 2009, uh, and we've been regular buyers of Moray machines ever since that day. And what sort of service and backup do you get from them? Uh, DMG Mori give us a fantastic service backup, um, which is extended far beyond just service and, and maintenance of the machines, but also training for our people as well. And do you actually offer apprenticeships here? Yes, we do. We have just recently taken on two additional apprentices, um, and they are being brought in to go through the whole process of, of training, right up to programming of machines, setting of machines, and obviously uh, we're looking for a long-term solution to uh, a problem we find in Britain of, of finding decent um, engineers to work in machine shops. And uh, what does the future hold for High Force? Um, I think it's looking pretty bright. Um, we've had a big recovery this year compared to last year. A lot of our customers are oil and gas based, which obviously we felt a lot of uh, uh, pain during the, the drop in the oil price. But it seems to have uh, settled down now. And this year certainly look a lot better than last year. And we continue to invest and grow. And whereabouts are you growing at the moment? Um, well, we have our regular businesses in, in likes of the Middle East, um, uh, Asia, and Africa. Um, we are also significantly growing in the U.S. at the moment, um, primarily because of the, the Brexit exchange rate uh, drop, which has helped us become more competitive in the U.S. market. Well, it sounds like a great British success story. I'm going to go and talk to Chris now about uh, the DMG machines. Thanks very much for your time, Kevin. Okay, thank you very much. Chris, we've heard the journey from Kevin in reference to High Force and, uh, and what you're about. Now, you run the machine tool shop here. Could you tell me your journey and your relationship with DMG Mori? Yeah, we've, we've had the relationship with DMG Mori for the last nine years um, and it's been a very successful relationship. As we've developed our in-house manufacturing capabilities, we've taken the same journey. We've had a lot of support and direction from DMG Mori um, in choosing the correct machinery, developing the people and the staff within the business. Um, and as our portfolio of in-house manufacturing has grown, so the number of machines that we have within the business has grown. And how many machines do you have here? We currently have 14 uh, DMG Mori machines. The oldest machine is nine years old and the two youngest machines are just six months old. So would I presume correctly that the reason that you've actually invested in DMG Mori is because bringing in your processes in-house rather than subcontracting, you have more control? Absolutely. Um, what we're looking for, although they are expensive machines, we make no secret about that, we get the repeatability, uh, we get the consistency, and we get the performance out of the machines. We do push our machines very hard. Um, we remove a lot of material, but we get, we get the results, and so the investment is worth the, um, the, re the returns. Now, I, I know with the NLX 2500, it's one of uh, DMG Morris' popular machines, but could you tell me why you've got two here? Yeah, it's the next generation of the NL 2500s. Um, it was the right move for us. Um, we accept that it's new technology, and although we had a few teething problems with the guys moving across from the old L to the, to the new technology, they've, they've bought into that very much, and we get the performance that we've been looking for. And we also have to accept that technology changes, and this is a new technology. It offers us the performance uh, that we're looking for, um, the training support we've had from DMG Mori has been exemplary. So, yeah, very happy with the product. And how did the guys get on with the cell loss control? Yeah, again, as I said, early days it was a little bit difficult, especially for some of the older hands. But as we've mentioned, we are taking on apprentices. And believe it or not, the apprentices are finding the new controls much easier because they've not got the pre preconceived ideas of the old technology. 
Well, I think High Force is a great celebration of British manufacturing. You continue investing, and I presume, whether I'm right or wrong, you'll tell me your next purchase is going to be a DMG Murray? Well, as I say, we've 14 DMG Murray machines now. I see no reason why we wouldn't buy DMG Murray again. I say the oldest machine is nine years old, but being a Murray Seiki, it's still as accurate and reliable as it was nine years ago. Are we, going to are we going to replace them soon? Not necessarily. Are we going to buy new? Absolutely. Chris, thank you very much for your time. A great success story for British manufacturing. Thank you very much, Mark.